Catherine Mayer's rejection of the free and open internet principle marks a divergence from fundamental values such as openness, transparency, and freedom of expression. I started by talking about the idea of free and open as some of our founding principles, sort of free and open source coming from the idea of the open source community. Well, I have come to the opinion and the, and the perspective that free and open was a way of looking at the world that was inherently limited relative to what we were trying to achieve. Free and open has the best of intentionality, but in the end, what free and open often ended up doing, and particularly in the case of Wikipedia, was really capit recapitulating many of the same power structures and dynamics that exist offline prior to the advent of the internet. And so what we ended up seeing was Wikipedia really rebuilt this idea of knowledge as a whole around what the Western canon. You see the exclusion of communities, of languages, because of the ways in which Wikipedia is based on reliable sources, the idea of a written tradition is something that is particular to many, I mean, not, sorry, the idea of a written tradition, which is particular to some cultures and not to others, the ways in which we ascribe notability often really comes from sort of this white male um, westernized construct around who matters in societies and who is elevated and whose voices. And so some of these ideas of sort of this radical openness really did not end up with the intention, really did not end up living into the intentionality of what openness can be. This shift is perceived as emblematic of broader trends toward ideological conformity and online censorship, sparking concerns regarding the erosion of democratic norms and the stifling of dissenting viewpoints. The ongoing discourse surrounding online governance encompasses themes of individual autonomy and collective responsibility. In this context, it becomes imperative to evaluate how notions of authenticity and freedom intersect with the imperative of ethical engagement and dialogue within the digital sphere, which is characterized by competing values and perspectives. Maher's advocacy for a free and open internet faces criticism for perpetuating existing power structures and amplifying certain voices over others. The issue of information access and expression imbalances is indeed a valid concern. However, forsaking the principle of openness risks reinforcing gatekeeping and censorship under centralized authorities. Maher's contention that credibility and fame are inherently biased toward Western cultural norms raises questions. While promoting cultural diversity and inclusivity is vital, it's essential not to overlook the principles of objectivity and accuracy. Framing these principles as mere reflections of white, male supremacy can overlook genuine concerns and inadvertently promote reverse discrimination and gender-based animosity.